We're in the van. In the van, in the rain. Lovely day for it. It is. It's bright and early. Yeah. We need to stop a tea, mate. We haven't had a tea yet. Yeah, we do need to stop for a drink, yeah. Oh, yeah, on the M5, heading downhill. Yes. Is it downhill? Well, it depends whether you believe the Earth's flat or not. <laughs> Let's not get into that again. Yeah. Um, where are we going? We're going it's to... Oh, odd. Somewhere in Devon. Yeah, Oakhampton. Yeah, hang on. There it is. The Bodmin. Bodmin. Maybe we'll see the beast. Bodmin. Bod. Yeah, JDM garage. So I've, uh, we're heading down to pick up the gearbox and all the parts for the Skyline so we can put that back together, basically. And uh, I think Paul, who runs the place, has got quite a few nice Jap cars stashed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we're going to go and have a little look, in we? Sounds good. So, cool. There we have the rain. Rain. We've got like 14 miles to go. 14? Come on! Who runs businesses outside of big cities? And we find out it's a hairpin in the water. <laughs> There's nothing coming. That's a setback. <laughs> Free right over crest. <laughs> we have arrived. We're here. It's a car park for the German cars. You have arrived. We're here. We are. I don't know where that is. I've driven forever. <laughs> Past France. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come down to JDM Garage to pick up some bits so Carl can finish putting my car back together, basically. Let's go inside and see what's what. Let's do it. Boop, boop. Right, so tell us about this little beastie here then, Paul. So this took me roughly 10 years to buy and it was um, Imai San from BR's personal car. Took you 10 years to buy? You wouldn't sell it. Right, okay. <laughs> sell me your car. No, sell no. me your car. No. Wow. So what was involved in the process? How did you eventually get, get the car? I just kept hounding him. Then one day he um, sort of caved and said, oh, it's this much money. Uh, thinking I wouldn't buy it, and the next day I transferred him the money, and wow. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> so this this is super rare, isn't it? This is. It's super rare because it was his personal car, yeah. um, and obviously A eighty sixes are getting rarer and rarer. Um, yeah, is it, uh, but saloon as well. So that's like... Yeah, but this is just particularly rare because it was his car. Right, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, custom kit and they are cool. <coughs> they are. They are cool. So is th this is a keeper for life. Uh, yeah. Unless, unless somebody. Yeah. Unless, unless, yeah. Off yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, I, I think everything's got um, a price. A price. Yeah. yeah. So. So what about the the modifications on this? What? Where do we start? So it's it's a turbo. It's been turbocharged. Obviously, they never came turboed. Um, I believe he sort of built the car to to learn to drift in, um, and he used it for a few years to to drift. Um, yeah, I think it's around sort of two hundred PS. Um, I'm yet to use it, so you know we've driven up and down the lane, but not actually not actually started using the car yet. Yeah don't plan to change too much just to sort of you know go through it, Keep it yeah, yeah rigid, we'll re we'll, you know we'll we'll um map it and um do some tidying like there's a crack in the front bumper but other than that we'll just keep it as original as possible it is cool because wasn't it, it was br that were doing the um was it the the 32s with the 34 That's right. fronts? Yeah, so I'll show you a, a picture in a minute of the, yeah. the first car we bought. So I think I've had three or maybe four cars off of him over the time, but they were mainly bought out of auction. But they were his, you know, cars yeah. he yeah, built, yeah, yeah. sort of thing. But um, yeah, he sadly passed away a few weeks ago. Uh, oh, right. no. So 
Yeah. How long have you had it then? I bought it, I'd say maybe two years ago, right. and because of shipping delays and things, it kind of stayed in Japan, and then other cars took priority because yeah. it obviously wasn't a sold car, if you like. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it kind yeah. of sat in Japan for a year, year and a half, right, okay. um, and then yeah, here it is. Well, the the driver's seat had some wear on it, so that's just gone off to be retrimmed. That's right. not the original seat. We're trying to keep it kind of like yeah, yeah, as yeah, period yeah. correct as. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's very cool. Oh, I love, I love, I love. Bit of carbon. Once it's finished, we'll have to do a drift day in it. Just to be, be rude not to. <laughs> be rude not to have a go in it. I think, yeah. So what's going on with the drifting at the moment? Are you still involved with that? Not really. Yeah. No, no. It's taken a bit of a back seat since we've started doing some rallying. Um, <laughs> drifting's kind of gone out the door. But yeah. Yeah. I'm picking the cars at friends in Newquay. Where it's having some body work done. So we'll probably get out in it this year. Yeah. I think. And that was your S15. Yeah. 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 So, rallying's like drifting, but faster and with more trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that rear spoiler. <laughs> they've cut it in half and widened it by about an inch, or inch and a half. You can see here they've just joined it. And, yeah. You know, like here and the headlights, let us in. You know, nearly an inch wider each side. Yeah. You don't see stuff like this anymore, do you? That's it. No, it's really cool. This is a bit more me because it's NA, yeah, and I think yeah, yeah. Um, carbs. Corollas really need to be NA. Um, but if I was, you know, I'd like to put that NA, but yeah. obviously I can't because of what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it it's a different. It's a different target with that. You've bought a special car there, haven't you? It's not yeah. necessarily. But for me, Corolla should always be on carbs or bodies. So I think this, we haven't dynoed it, but this makes somewhere in the region of 200 PS. It's, That's it's sure. really but they fun. sound mega yeah, when they is, rev, don't they? This is they fun. They sound mega. I've always liked this. Right, another room. So this is the... It's a machine shop machine for, for Superformer. So you can pretty much do anything here within reason. What's the main well, sort of? They can. I wouldn't even know how to turn the machines on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. So nowadays we'd kind of make something like three D print it. Yeah. Before you start wasting material Material and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we'd kind of like a lot of stuff we test. Rapid prototype. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got a working. Oh yeah, that fits. That doesn't. This needs adjusting. It definitely. Yeah. Before you start spending time, like you know designing it and it's slightly wrong you know you get it as close yeah, as we yeah. can and the with thing, that the thing is now certain products like i've got a friend making um, turbo kits for engines and he's with the material you can get for the rp machines he's yeah. making the coolant oh okay uh, joints onto the heads and stuff and he's I've, like I've seen, mega. I've seen people um 3d printing turbos yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. you know just yeah. to mock it up yeah yeah so it's cool it's cool so this was kind of new to us well, rallying was new to us like a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, and this was a car we imported. Um, it was fairly stock when we when yeah. we got it, kind of thing. And we've kind of just looks pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love rally cars. These sound good as rally cars as well. I remember I was at IRC with Skoda, and the zero car was um, Colin McRae's original Legacy. Oh wow. And his dad was driving it. Yeah, they're they're, but they're cool cars. Boxer engines in a rally car. Yeah. It works. It doesn't yeah. work hanging out the ass of a Porsche. <laughs> so what, what's the spec on this, Paul? Well, it was fairly basic. It's got yeah. um, it was you know it's a gravel rally car in Japan. Um, it got a few little scrapes, but it was really for a '93 car. It was incredibly clean. It's clean, yeah, yeah, really yeah it's clean. clean. I mean, I've I've yeah made it not so clean. The other yeah. side's got some 
scratches and dents and bush stuff. bits it, yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, two rallies ago, um, we took a wrong turn and um, basically went into some water. So our stock engine is now <laughs> it's now got a fully forged right. motor <laughs> and. Um, yeah, it's it produces. I don't know. Like, it's low three hundreds. It's it's still a small turbo to keep it, you know, really responsive. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's not all about massive power. It's more about sort of off the turn drivability. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Getting yeah, you know, from zero to sixty, 60. quickly. Yeah, because I suppose really you're working within speed limits, aren't you? Yeah, within speed limits. I yeah. Like that, yeah. On a road rally. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is. You know, it's like six, seven hours of being absolutely hammered. hammered. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, if you're going to run yeah. lots of boost or lots of power, things yeah. are going to break. Yep. Keep heat out of it and keep it reliable. Get a finish, right? You can yeah, win. If you it. finish, you can win. What sort of thirty twos fetch now then? They really vary. Do so they? I would say really um, late twenties for a really, really poor one, like rusty, right? Okay. Or accident damage, yeah. high mileage, that type of thing, or up to maybe late 80 90 grand for something really low mileage and super <laughs> rare you know like if it was something incredibly low mileage so i think there's a you know there's a massive variation yeah in price. so the 33 is the ugly duckling at the minute then i think it used to be but not so much now i think that you know that again they were hugely popular yeah. going back a few years and now they're becoming rarer right, so okay. now that they're, they're getting, starting to come up yeah it's... definitely yeah and and you know like to get at like a 33 gtr now is incredibly yeah. hard whereas yeah. you know a few years ago there was lots of right okay it's almost yeah. like 996 porsche turbos you had like 993s 964s 906s mm. 907s so you kind of went through that bit where it's like mint 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 want them want them don't want that don't one want that want one. Them. yeah and i think that that is how skylines used to be but not so much right okay this one's sold <coughs> so um this is an A85. Um, this one's sold to a local customer. It's got a SR20 engine in it. So he's got two other Corollas, and I think his plan is to have one sort of track toy, yeah. and then the others will be yeah sold on. I think. Always oh, like these. It's nice in that. It's nice and red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it looks really oh, good in red. You're going inside. Yeah, that means the storage. Wow. Uh, 950 quid. I'll buy it for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, give you the cash now. <laughs> wow, that's cool. That is Larry. Must be cool history with that one. That it's is. Got a, it's got a lot of history. That car has. Um, so it was owned by a wealthy Japanese guy and um, they had a race team and stuff so there was, two, there was two drivers that used to run this. Um, Jun used to maintain the car yeah. and it set some, you know, in its time it was a quick car. Yeah. So, but I've got all the pictures. Yeah, and this looks like, like old time attack stuff. Yeah, it is an old time yeah. attack. Yeah, but it sets, it sets some, you know, back in its time, it sets some really good times. And obviously it's old hat now. But it's probably one of my favourite cars. It looks <laughs> yeah, it's wicked. Mega. I'm not sure what the mileage is, but it's, re it's really low mileage. Um, and we've been sort of over the last sort of five or six years been sort of restoring it. So it was originally a turbo car, but we hated it being turbo, so it's now and a, so it's got a HK st stroked motor in it. And Thousand miles. Is it? Yeah. So that's where, that's, this is where we've got to. Wow. Kind of final fix really, just wiring loom, fuel yeah. lines. Looks really pretty, front body, yeah. What have you gone for, gem bees or? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. The bit what we're waiting for is we're just sort of doing, we need to do something on the trigger side of things. So yeah, we're making, making for a, waiting for a bottom pulley to be made. Yeah. And then we can get it finished. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, because I suppose you could almost use the original Dizzy for cam if you wanted to, couldn't you? And just put we a, could, but Rossa making SA. Uh, so they okay. do a bottom pulley already, but they don't yeah. do a triggered one. Right, so they're okay. doing a, 
like a toothed yeah. pulley and then yeah. we'll make up the bracket next door. Yeah, so you can run a... Yeah, yeah. that was the plan. That is it's really kind of one of those, I've been collecting parts of this over like the last three or four years and just doing bits and pieces yeah. as we... The thing is, if you were a busy, if there were four or five guys in a workshop, you are a busy workshop, you'd be like, oh, quite a day today, let's get it in. And, but the hard thing is with these is like, you know, because we want to build it in a particular way, yeah. is finding the, the exact right parts. right parts that we want yeah. to use. So, and yeah, yeah don't want to cut corners with anything. Thousand and twenty. Yeah, so it's that'll do. Yeah, and some of that. I've only we've only used it once. We used it on um, hill climbers, like a road okay. legal hill yeah, climb yeah. in Newquay. Yeah, and um, yeah, I've never done a hill climb before, and I've never driven the car. So it, was, <laughs> it was quite interesting. Cold tyres, second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Baptism of fire. Yeah. yeah, it was good fun. <laughs> This was originally used in time attacks. This was um, it was in the HKS Super Cup Challenge or something okay. like that. They called yeah. it in Japan, and it won two years. And then I think the third year did like a second or a third. And then the guy, you know, he did what he wanted to do with it and sold it on, sort of thing. So we've sort of brought it back to life, really. That's another one that's got some good history behind yeah, it. Yeah, it's got, I still speak to the owner, like the guy who built the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I still speak to him. Um, and it was built by quite a famous like tuning company yeah, yeah, in yeah. Japan. Um, one of the lads who works for me now, he's about to go to Japan for two weeks and he's going on one of these tuning shop tours. Uh, tours yeah, yeah nice. so there's a big group of them, so he's like doing well, everything. I think Spoon, Mugen, um, what's the other one called? Oh, it's loads, it's loads, but he's gone for like two weeks. Nice. Yeah. So he's like proper excited about that because he, um, he had some poor health two years ago. Um, and he's always wanting to do it. Something's just got to be done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's Jack Mad. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. Yeah, he'd um, be upset. There's no Hondas in here. I think, wouldn't he? Will I? <laughs> this one probably will get sold at some point, but um, that's cool. Yeah, two point two makes. I found this on the web. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Makes around 600 horsepower. Yeah. We haven't mapped it on, so it had a slightly smaller turbo before, so. Okay. Um, yeah, it, need, it needs mapping, and we've got a HS dog box to put on it. Right, okay. Completely original sort of interior. Yeah, 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 it's interior. Nice event. So, it's what lovely. we've done is we've kept it, so we've tried not to drill holes anywhere, and um, because it's quite low mileage and stuff, yeah. we've left it. So, if someone wanted to put it back to original, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's no like intercooler yeah, pipes drilled yeah, yeah, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. This thing's like super rare in the sense that it's only done 18 or 19 thousand miles and you can kind of see like it's all original yeah. paint and sealer and stuff. Yeah. Um, bit of a strange thing that, you know, because it's kind of like half cage with, you know, no yeah. rear interior and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've kind of been toying with the idea of putting the interior, taking the cage out maybe and putting the interior Put back, back in, in and then it's kind of like a more, yeah, yeah, more, more peeling. For, yeah. Looks cool in red, but can't bonnet. Really it? nice. Yeah. yeah. Got to change, one thing I will do is change the wheels. Yeah. So yeah, this, this will be sold. Um, and so that's what about this one then? Yeah, this is kind of, this is my 40th birthday present. So I bought a white one, and then this popped up a few days later. So I ended up with two RX7s. Yeah, two RX7s, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll show you the white one in a minute, it's in the trailer. Yeah. Um, but I've, we haven't really started this car. We've added a few little bits and pieces to it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a keeper, really. So obviously, 
tie you, like you know, it's got some lacquer peel. Yeah. Um, but but these have aged so well. The shape of this. Yeah. Okay. So this is like this is a '99 one. So it's quite a, a late car. Um, and again, it's it's quite low mileage. I think it's done like forty thousand or something. So. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, I, yeah. I really like yeah. driving this car. It's fun. I've, yeah, I've only used it once, so yeah, this year we'll use it, use it a bit more, yeah. That Rob Dunn in America, doesn't he? He goes crazy, he builds like quad rotors and they love their RX-7 stuff like that. Yeah, I think this is kind of coming back, it seems a bit more popular. Um, I think because it's different, you know, you get that yeah, unique sound yeah, yeah. and stuff, and they are just cool looking. It looks, this, it, everything, no disservice to the other side, but it looks like either they look like saloon cars, yeah. don't they? Whereas this looks like a supercar. It does. You look yeah. like you look. They definitely it. drive in this wherever you go. I mean, it's a serious kind yeah. of like head turner, yeah. and people talk about it and stuff. Like, what is that? But they, or people remember it, and it's yeah. a real yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 but when you? <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is why 180s look better than 200s. But definitely because pop up headlights. You know, everything's cool with pop up headlights. But that is true. So this is um, this was bought as just a shell several years ago, and we've used this as a kind of like a test wheel for various products with Superformer. Okay. So um, we're kind of done with it now, and I'm not really sure what to do with the car, so we don't really use it now. It's probably going to get sold, sold, I would imagine. Yeah. That oh, looks cool though. That's an engine bay, mate. That is an engine bay. That is cool. So yeah, this is um, this is a uh, our own turbo kit. Yeah. Um, and we've designed, you know, there's various little bits and pieces on the car that we've, uh, like the coil kit here, yeah, yeah, yeah. things that we've used as a yeah. test platform. Yeah, the catch can is really nice as well, isn't it? You yeah. Care. So Connor next door made that. Um, I think that's the last thing we did to the car. There's lots of little okay. quirky bits. Yeah. So it's got like GTR rear end on it and it's got um I think the car makes around eight hundred okay. horsepower. But obviously being real wheel drive it's yeah, pretty loose. fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's the wheels. That's what we need. Yeah. They are the, the skyline wheels. Yeah. 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 Right, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but they look good on anything. Yeah, they, they do. You can put them on, you know, you put them on this or pretty much any car in here and they'd yeah. look right you at see home. Mark from C Media put them on his uh, 360. Yeah, they were so cool. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's up for sale now. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that's everything, all there. Everything looks good to you. Nope. And over in the corner. Monkey Yeah. Who's so, the... Do you, uh, know, do you guys know what the yellow light is? I don't know what it is. I've seen it on. Um, it's cool. I saw one of these on um, Instagram the other day, next to a, a yellow. Uh, might be an NSX. Oh, it's a it's a carry yeah. bike, isn't it? So it, yeah, it came into a <coughs> case. Yeah, everything folds down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you know, it used to come in the boot of a car. Yeah. That's where you get out your NSX. That is cool. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Go on then, what are these worth? That's like four and a half, I think that's up for about three. It's yeah. just rare in yellow, and obviously it's you know it's really clean, so. That's cool, that original monkey bike, that's cool. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because obviously- They can on it as well. Yeah, they obviously redone it. They do a newer version now. Yeah, they do a new version of this as well. Do they? Yeah, so they've just released like a new version of this. And it's like a suitcase. Right. Really odd looking. Mm. I was going to have a chat with you actually, but I want to, TA22 Celica GT. Nice. I've always, always wanted one, but you can't, you can't find them. Yeah. You can't find them. So I want to, yeah, twin cam manual. In red, if I can find it, but I'll take any color, but it's got to be, <laughs> yeah, yeah I want, it, cause you get GTs, but I think they were single cam engines, but I want to, yeah. Which is why I always followed Huxley's drift car. Cause obviously it was, a, uh, it was RA28, but. Very cool car. Yeah, yeah, it was a cool car. Um, so yeah, the Skyline's gonna go for one of those, I think. Okay. 
that's my plan build the skyliner get it mint and then, and then get the Celica and then yeah. my Celica will be like that for you it'll yeah, never yeah, go anywhere because yeah. since I was little my stepdad had one when I was like five or six and it just so it's the dream yeah yeah yeah, that's cool. yeah, yeah. yeah but it's finding one you can find them here or there in Australia but they're hard to get here because so it you know whether it come to you and I go right let's try and find one then in Japan and bring one over but over here I think I've seen two GTs in the last six years Oh, really rare. Yeah, yeah, get on. yeah. Maybe we need a trip to Japan. Oh yes, we, we should yeah. go to the yeah. auto yeah. Mate, I would, I don't I'm very keen for that. <laughs> what, what, yeah, but what do you do? Do you just do you just buy like Japanese auto trader? I mean, like that's a like that's a, even that like you importing cars. That's a lot of experience doing that, right? It, it takes a lot now because yeah. um, obviously these cars are getting rarer. Um, there's lots of cars still, but lots of bad cars. So, yeah. so it, it just takes a lot of time um, yeah, yeah. to find good cars. Right. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's what I want. Because you, you see them pop up on forums all the time and they're like the Japanese auction sheet with them and I'm like, I don't speak Japanese, mate. I ain't got yeah. a clue what any of that means. <laughs> I'm sure we can help yeah. you with that. R34, get track box in it. Right, okay. Um, T4Z, yeah. all the HGS, HGS everything on it, really. When does that get going? Oh, on this car, it's yeah. about four and a half. What's in the box? Cut to Brad Pitt at seven. <laughs> Have I got to drop that in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not a um, Gwyneth Paltrow's head, though. Oof. Uh, that's trick. That is oof, that is. They're mint, aren't they? Was this your other birthday present? This was the birthday present number one. <laughs> and then the yellow one came along. It's a bit of you, Rick. I do like these. I've always liked these. It's immaculate, isn't it? It's immaculate. Like the inside. What is it about Japanese cars and last? the insides lasting? If this was a Golf or an Audi, it'd be... Knackered. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, these like all the stuff peels off the switches and stuff. But look at it; it looks like brand new. We have taken, you know, we have swapped some bits out of this to make it nicer. Yeah. Um, it's, do you, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this will be this will be ready to go for someone in the summer. Sounds like a sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> do we know anybody that might want to buy this? Yeah. Mm. Suits you, sir. The the shroud is nice. Is that that's got to yeah. be aftermarket, right? That's aftermarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A company called Aria Mamia. The guys who make the kit and stuff. Right. Okay. So they are they are the kind of people, the go-to people for RX7 stuff. Right. It's it's on um it's basically kind of like stage one. So yep. intercooler exhaust. Yep. Um. It's got power C, it, but it's like stock boost and things like that. Yeah, so yeah. not going to be terrifyingly quick, but still good fun on the road. Yeah, yeah, I do. Like and it looks looks real nice, especially in white. Yeah, yeah they look good in yeah, white. Yeah, they do. New project. It's kind of like mm. RX sevens. I think you know you used to go to a show and you always see a few of them, whereas now it's rare to see one. At a show. Yeah, 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 but they like out of, they. They look like supercars. Yeah. They look completely different to everything else at the time. Even the Mark Ones with a square pop-up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Really like cool. People are starting to use rotary engines in other platforms as well, which I think is quite cool. Like kit car, you know, you see them in yeah. kit cars now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think they would have done better with the RX-8 if they turboed it. Oh, definitely, yeah. Because it was just... I don't know, Lapa. That's another car you just don't see much no, of anymore. No, 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 no. And again, it wasn't a shocking car. No, it was just dog slow. It was. It's one of our biggest expenses last year was laying, or maybe the year before, was laying concrete. And what we learnt is that we had to put um, a hi fi going and lots of lights to scare the foxes off because there's various footprints. But Look, I, I kind of like it though. But where did he come from? Because he just appears here. Yeah, it's like a scene at a Terminator. <laughs> Boxes like that. That's quality. 
So we're in the inner sanctum. I know, you know, like I go to my shelf and I'm like, I hate carrying stock. <laughs> and then you look at this. Mm, I bet he hates carrying stock. Yeah, so that's a Nismo. That's a Nis. They don't. So Nissan don't make these anymore. So that's like a Nismo GTR block. Right. Um, 2J, brand new 2J block. Busy hell. So that's a rolling assembly. Yes. So we sell a lot of them. They're right. quite affordable as well. This I, I imagine when bits pop up like that, you're just like, I'll take it. Yeah, because Nissan have sort of they they've semi discontinued it. I think they'll um, I think it will come back, but like a heritage line. It's, it's, sort of it's heritage, but at the yeah. moment you can't order it, and they're right, saying okay. the estimated lead time is you know three to five yeah. years, but whether it is or is they're going to have to support it because they especially are. now with the like the 25 year market opening up on like the 34s and stuff they're going to go mental they're going to go well they were already mad mm. Brett in Australia sold his he had an N2 and that was filthy money and then Ben lives up near Clevedon and he's got an immaculate an immaculate 34 V-spec and that is pro that, that's the worst car I hate working on that car he brings it to <laughs> us because he's got like 720s and stuff but there's not a blemish on it. Yeah, it's got nice. no miles, it's perfect. And it just scares the life out of me, because you, you know what I mean? He'll know the second anything is wrong with that car. The rocker covers are perfect. He bought the last set of brand new wheels, brand new brakes. Everything's and just like, terrifying oh, amounts yeah, of money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can't get it. Yeah. That's the other thing, yeah, yeah. You, know, you can't actually get it anymore. And it's like, you get a 720 in and, you know, or you get a McLaren in or you get an R8 in, and something breaks or something snaps or whatever and you can just you can go and buy a new one and yeah. it's a cost to fix mm. but you can't get lots of this no you can't do you know what I mean mm. what's the, the coil cover on 34s yeah like on GT he's like yeah yeah you can't buy those <laughs> and they're painted as well isn't they yeah they, so they you, are they're colour coded yeah yeah you can't buy those but it's weird like you know think they discontinue stuff and then it will pop back up months yeah. later or years later and you think oh that's the end of that and then yeah. they'll, Nissan will release it again right same. Right, where are we to next then? Right, I'll show you the stalls next. Okay. Like these are like um, crank collars, like so. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. To to, to uh, extend the collar. Yeah, for on the oil pumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then like do quite a lot of oil plates. So that's that's an SR one. Yeah. So then you can take oil cooler off it. Yeah. So the RB one removes the stock stock oil cooler. Yeah. Um, and then you know you just put it to a thermostat yeah. plate with a um, right like okay that's a mechanical chain tension yeah so it's just small wow small um so like on a, a jz this is a billet tensioner bracket yeah okay so the cast ones can crack oh. just loads and this is all this is all your stuff made in house it's yes. mental yeah like billet um these are underbody um yeah uh, pipe, pipe clamps. clamps yeah and in various different sizes and stuff these are really popular actually. This is going to be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so these are like rocker cover breathers. Uh, yeah, 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 and you press them in there. Yeah. Right, so like similar to that, but the threaded end is what we use like on turbos on the dry sumps. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you like press them in, don't you, into the breather. That's after. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and because they swivel, you know. Yeah, you, you can, can go in. Yeah. Go on, what you found? Hey. It was yours. <laughs> <laughs> and Dav, you mate. Apparently, you are features editor. Hey, look, with her. Davy is looking for a large who can attempt to cure. <laughs> His hobbies include eating, drinking, long alley skittles. <laughs> I can't say the next word. <laughs> <laughs> so, if there are any confused out there who enjoy a game of drunken skittles before taking no we can't read the rest of that <laughs> damn well you haven't changed it's just all off camera now <laughs> yeah we were saying there was certain cars of the time that just instantly take you back aren't they you'd say that the free the lambo door 306 what was the one that was in ali g as well that was um the one with doors. Well, the Charisma yeah. Renault 5, yeah. L to the I to the G, Ali G, that's me, that's me. A to the L to the I to the G, that's G, that's me, that's me. That, that's, yeah, he's, st he's still got that. Yeah, there's just- He started back he's up. He's come back, yeah. hasn't he, yeah, Jamie, yeah. Yeah, Jamie's back. So how, how many cars did you have featured in the end, Paul? I think it was around 16 or 17. It's not bad. I've got 
most of the old magazines yeah. somewhere. Some of them are a bit cringy now to look at. Yeah. I know. What were we thinking doing I know. That? <laughs> Can't show what's there. No. Busy yeah. We got away with doing quite a uh, lot of stuff. Yeah. Like you'd never get away with half of it now. Different times, wouldn't it? Yeah, just so completely. we were talking about. We used to do a DVD on the cover, didn't we? Giveaways, and we used to go to Magni Corps in France. So Probably the, one of the most down. fun times. I think that was the best show that we used to do. I used to love going to that. So re- re- remind me what happened with the Supra. Well, when we got there, the um, the venue wasn't ready for us to go in, so we um, headed off to the hotel for a few pints. And then after a few pints, someone thought it'd be a great idea to drift around cars. So, um, yeah, we, we attempted to drift around cars. This wasn't on the road. We no, got, this was this in the, a... right in the middle of the show. Yeah. Um, but obviously after a few pints, that was a great idea. <laughs> until the cameraman got knocked out. <laughs> By security. Yeah. <laughs> and then we came back through Paris on the way back. Yeah, and then I'm not sure who it was, but someone sort of dared me to do a burnout underneath the Eiffel Tower. Definitely wasn't me. No. <laughs> and um, yeah, an angry policeman dragged me through the the window and took my keys. <laughs> that was brilliant. Uh, got Carl some goodies. Well, I, I got me some goodies. It's just stuff Carl's got to bolt in. So Paul's laid it all out for me. So we'll. What have we got, mate? What have we got? R34 gearbox, so they don't make a 33 one, so we've got to use 34, you convert it from pull to push, yep. and then you've got all the bits here to convert it. Okay. So you've got all the nuts bolts, new gearbox bolts, sandwich plate. Yeah, 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 because they're different aren't they, auto to yeah. manual, yeah. New line, clutch line. Yeah. Spigot bush, so obviously you have to take the Automatic one. Yeah, out of the it's a nice, fun job. Right. Okay. Good call. Good call. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not too bad a job, really. It's, right. Okay. It's fairly straightforward stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's like we're, it's a, so we dropped the whole engine out. So we've just literally got that out of the way. Um, so we're sat there now, ready to fly wheel, sandwich plate, and literally slide. Obviously, put the assembly stuff for the clutch inside the yep. gearbox. But yeah, just, I don't think it's too bad. I think the worst bit is. Do you have to do something with a hole for the master cylinder? Yeah, so yeah, um, we can probably give you a template. Oh, cool. Yeah, so yeah. You can just draw around <laughs> that and then just take your time. And yeah. Um, that's that's the hardest bit, really, okay. just getting that nice. Yeah. And then, um, unfortunately, you were a couple of months late buying this kit because Nissan discontinued a couple of part numbers okay. for the um, clutch assembly. Yeah. So I think there's about six or seven different part numbers, like with the bolt, everything's broken down in like right. the washer, bolt, yeah, spring. Okay. So we ah, have, for the pedal part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So right, okay. and they've discontinued one or two bits of that. Yeah. So um, we're developing an actual full assembly. Okay. Um, just, um, but it's not quite finished yet. Okay. Um, the other thing to think about is when you do the manual swap is the brake pedal. Yeah. Um, so you can trim it down. Yeah. But it's then slightly in the wrong I'd, place. Yeah, I think Ben said about this. I'd rather change it. I think that is the best way to yeah. do it. So yeah. can you get one of those? Um, yes, we can. Okay. Yeah, that's something. Let's just do. Yeah. Let's just. Yeah. Do, I'll just. You guys know what's what, so I'll just. We might. Have, we might have got a good use okay. one of those, so we can check that for you. Yeah, yeah. But the clutch pedal is a bit annoying because yeah. Like yeah, I think he. I think he said at the time because I know you've been trying to make one and bits and pieces. Yeah, it's just kind of getting it right. So it's it's kind of like ninety five percent finished. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a few tweaks yeah, yeah. to get it perfect. Yeah. No, no, because at the minute it's got bloody like Sparco pedal covers on it anyway. So I was yeah. like, do you know what? I'll end up cutting a brake pedal and it won't be right. So I would we'll just do. Just put I just nice, want to do yeah, it properly. Nice, nice you spend all this money with 100%. all that kit being right, yeah. and then you got an angle grinder on a brake pedal. So that, that's the kind of thing. If you don't change the brake pedal after you've done a really nice job of everything, yeah. it will just annoy you. It being because it's only yeah. slightly in the wrong place. Yeah. It's one of those really annoying yeah. things. So well, I just do, I just whatever you think's missing or whatever you need, we just get it. Because I've got hold of manual clocks. Ah, oh, perfect. So I'm just going to swap. I've just got to take them apart and transfer the mileage yeah. over so it's right. So I've got my two clocks and I can just swap them over. Because 
people have said, oh, you can tape out the middle, or you can do this, or you yeah, can you do can that. just change the centre fascia. Okay, and just put it over the top. But it's so easy just to take out the the model. It's only four screws. You yeah. take the model and that's out and just put it in the other. That's what I think I was doing. Yeah. Um, and then I don't think there's anything else. There's no wiring, no nothing, is there really? There is. Oh, is it? Yes. Yep, I'll give you some diagrams. Okay, cool. Uh, you can, but you could buy, which we might even have, um, is a manual start charge loom. Okay. Um, but it's very straightforward stuff. Right, okay. So. Yeah, because I think on the auto there's some bits, but one's a speed sensor for the yeah, so you've got speedometer, isn't it? Neutral and speedo. Ah, so it's like neutral. Reverse yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, 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 whatever. whatever but it is, it's, there's like, you know, I think there's like four or six wires or something, so it's not. Yeah. Right, okay. So yeah, whatever. I'm quite, I'm quite excited because it's, this was it for me, the ability yeah. for, to make it, because we looked, Carl was like, oh yeah, you can do manual conversions. And I can't remember if it was Davos said or Carl said, so like, you guys did a kit. And I was like, I'll just get a kit. Yeah. <laughs> just get a kit. Because it's, well, the thing it's is, like, like these, <laughs> yeah, it's the boxes is the main problem because, you know, if you buy a box, it's, the chance are it could be over 30 years old. Yep. So then by the time you bought a box, yeah, all right, it might be 1,200 quid or whatever, but then when it crunches, it's going to be well annoying. Later. Yeah, yeah, and they're renowned for being... So they do synchros. Yeah, yeah, fragile anyway, Yeah. you know, and why is someone selling a manual gearbox? Yeah. You know, yeah. so I was just like, do you know what? I'll just do that. Because it, the other side for me as well is selling the car, you just go, well, look, it's all factory Nissan parts yeah. that have gone into it. It's not a eBay this or something that or the pro you buy a prop and it turns up in a fucking fit. <laughs> yeah. Because at the minute it's dead on you know you run a business, it's dead on a ramp, it's it sat there. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool to do. Transforms the car for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I we have I have driven it and I just They're just the the auto boxes are quite lazy. I hate all of it. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I'd like an auto in is my van. Yeah. But other than that, I hate all autos. No place in life. DCT's not an auto, it's a manual gearbox. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you that one. So we've had a wander around, and there's a load of nice stuff, but obviously the coolest thing I'm going to talk about is the bike. And we found the man who owns it. Nice. You alright? Yeah. Just going from school? Yeah. Yeah? Good day? Yeah. What's your name then? Ruben. And um, what number are you? <laughs> <laughs> did you pick that? You pick. Why did you pick 429? Because I think it's the best number. No, it's not the best number. We're going to... Do you ride it much then? It's muddy. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? So what do you want to do? Do you want to go and race motocross? Yeah. Yeah? What are you going to race on? Do you want another Honda? I want to race on the um, Husqvarna. You... <gasps> There you go. Guess what I got? What? Husqvarna 250. Yep. So you're going to be a husky lad, are you? In white. And then what? Like white fox gear? Yeah? All right, cool. So we're going to see you at the track then. Yeah? You have to get dad to bring you out when we go out. All right, cool. Keep practicing. I have a van full of goodies. Good man. I know. I didn't nick his motocross bike. I left that for you, mate. <laughs> it's fine. You can keep that. So, no, thank you for having me. Or no us. problem. Thank good you so much. You. Yeah, it's good to meet you too. Good luck. I'm envious of a car collection. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That is a mansion, mate, if you sell that. <laughs> that is unreal, <laughs> some of them cars you've got. Kate, you can't complain at me, I've only got six. <laughs> only six. <laughs> only six. And a so, bike. Well, two bikes. So I guess we, yeah. we better think about hitting the road. Yeah, we should leave, but we'll be back. Because I think you've got your charity day. What was the date? I don't know if it's a f I don't know if it's a fixed date yet. Right. But, okay. Um, sometime like you think it's April time? April is it? Time, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it'd be good to see the car all 13. done. Thirteen. April the thirteenth. I'm getting told. <laughs> see, go. there's a real boss down here <laughs> yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> April the thirteenth. So check out their social media because they have a, like you said, it's big meat down here. Everything there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah all for charity. Good cause. So, so hopefully you bring the skyline down maybe for that. Yeah. Yeah. If it's done, nothing it will be ever done. gets done, mate, in our It'll place. Yeah. <laughs> but it would just. For everyone would be like that. That's shit. That's a Skyline. It's not a GTR. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe we'll bring down something else. See what we got by them. But that's cool. Cool. Right. Thank, Thank you, mate. No problem. Right. Yeah. Safe we'll see trip. you soon. See you later, see kids. You later. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye. Right. Right. Smash your buttons. Um, tell me what I did wrong. I probably called a car the wrong thing because everyone picks on me for that.
Well, and that's what the comments are for. Exactly. They're there, so we don't read them. Let's go and get stuck <laughs> yeah. in traffic. How big is my bubble? How big is your bubble? <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Let's do it. Laters.